Is anybody here? Look around and find Augustine around, Lieber. See if I can find anyone. So August Augustine Lieber, wasn't that not the person in Oh. Our camera's actually fixed. Um the person at the campfire. Oh now we can move oh okay weird. Now we can look around. Some weird urns around. Bunch of old paintings. That's a door we can't open, okay. Ah, showing our collectibles, okay. That was weird, something showed up there. The camera. Can't get to do that again. There's a way through there. There's an upstairs. Like the stair layout's very Resident Evil, I'd say. Actually, so is the doors. Again, I guess how would you do the doors otherwise? So is this a door we can go through? No. So those doors are all sealed for whatever reason. So I guess the only real choice is upstairs or downstairs. Is there anything in this pot? Dying plant. Okay, so what's down here? Someone's gotta be around. Hello? A weird portrait of like yourself, like a dozen times for some reason. There's also a door here, also closed. Now is that the same person at different periods of time or is that like a mother and her two daughters? Do I want to go this way or... Yeah, I'll carry on going this way. I want to go upstairs though as well. Oh. Okay, finally a door we can open. Well, this must be the place. Another door to open. I guess that changes scene, it looks like. Or is this? It's just a door. Not gonna Locked. find anyone in there, I guess. Locked from the other side. Okay, what's upstairs then? Something down there, what is that? So we can't even investigate. Some kind of... Some kind of tribal st statue or something? Oh, chessboard. Weird that it's here. Like, you can't really play it there. Why is there a candle next to it? Hmm. Huh. Even I could play this. A survival's theme. By M, something or other. So, it says D flat, a C, a D flat, and a B flat. And it looks like a tempo is 65.
Okay. Are we gonna play this somewhere then? I guess so. It's weird. The light circle and the rest is cut off. Is it gonna be like in Resident Evil where we play it and it opens up a door? Hmm. We're just gonna leave it there? We're not gonna collect it and we're gonna take it with us? the door to ignore. This seems to go somewhere. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> Piano. Bruno Stanford III Esquire, business connoisseur. Behind all good ideas is a plan. Behind all great ones is Stan. Looking Somebody forward to Stan doing here. business with you. Huh. Hey, that's how? today. So, what was the name? Abigail Lieber? Looking forward to doing business. If you mean what you promise, I am sure this evening will be worth both our whiles. See you on the 13th. And please call me Stan. P.S. Got a good number of one of those British black caps. My usual guys indisposed, so to speak. Hmm. Didn't see any other cars out there. Well, the cab's not going to hang around, I wonder for. Mr. Liba, I'm writing to confirm that, as per your instruction, I've asked the staff to take a leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. I recall hearing mention that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, would it not be preferable, even desirable, to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any precious items if required? I recommend myself for this duty, and do not consider it below my station, for I would relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the private reliquary, should it be needed. I am only a short drive away if called upon, and you needn't concern yourself with discretion. In my three years of service as a state manager of uh, Geron Manor, I have proven to be a model of reserve. Prob 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 probity and reliability. I await your response with keen anticipation. Your devoted servant, J.F. Grimes. Augustine Lever has requested staff to leave the estate. This one's actually set up to play. Oh, it's a cozy little fire. Well, you shouldn't leave a fire unattended. Just interact. Mm. Oh, <laughs> nice. Whoa. Secret stairs? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. What? Hmm. So this looks like the stairs down to the basement. But what would have happened if we'd gone down the, uh, gone in that room? Would no one have been there? Would the door have been locked? Man, 
Maybe I shouldn't be snooping around. Then again. <gasps> it's Huntress! Hmm. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. The lullaby the horns, the dark forest. She's got a bulldog clip for an axe. And then the razor blade for the hatchet. And the axe is like you know, wired around, around her so she can't drop it or anything. Hmm. Very different looking huntress. Oh, this is the door from the other side that we can open. Oh, okay, so we're still going through this door. But we didn't hear a latch or anything, so how was it locked? That's baffling. I assume the other doors aren't openable. Nope. Another victim. Hello, victim. Yeah, we Just prefer a survivor. Fly, British humor. Oh, you're British? No, but spend a little while in a charming country house like this, and it kind of rubs off on you. I am so sure sorry. Does. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be. Oh yes, Stan. Uh, okay. Well, nice to meet you, Maddie. A uh, short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, okay. Uh, like the Avenue. Like, oh, in New York. Greatest city in the world. <laughs> Ever been? Oh, yeah, it's where I live. I mean, it's where I lived. But now I kind of live in Berlin, or, well, I go to school in Berlin. So I'm not technically a citizen there or anything. And New York is still kind of my home because, you know, it's New York City and, like, once a New Yorker, always a New Yorker, you know? Well, Madison Avenue. Now that you're here, it seems like the party can finally get started. <laughs> uh, well, not much of a party. Uh, yeah, you're telling me. Oh yeah, because we can uh, investigate stuff that we've already seen. Stan, that wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your beck and call, but only if you call me Stan. Whoa. Massive drops in frames. Hey. Linda Castle. I am honored, no, humbled, to make your acquaintance. Hi. hi. It is truly a great pleasure to be graced by your presence. Okay. Sure. Likewise. It's not every day you get to meet one of your all-time favorite horror filmmakers face to face and shake their hand. I would have gotten here sooner, but my car broke down, and I just couldn't get anybody to stop for me. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. You know what? Don't worry. Yeah, it's worry. not safe to pick up I the exercise. Wait, wait, hold up. Are you saying that you saw the Linda Castle stranded on the side of the road, and, and you didn't stop? That's uh, correct. Yeah? This is the director of my mother, my father, my blood. Nerve biter. Never heard of him. Blade Skinner? No. Dismember, dismember the 25th of December. <laughs> That's an awful time. I had no idea who she was. That's no excuse. 
Yeah, never pick up hitchhikers. Hey, you're a horror filmmaker. I thought, like, number one rule of horror movies was never pick up hitchhikers. Actually, it's never have sex. <laughs> but uh, no one has sex in movies anymore anyways. Fair enough. I probably wouldn't have picked me up either. <clears throat> it is a classic trope. I don't use tropes in my films. Well... I use archetypes. Right. Yes. <laughs> Very smart. Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but Ooh. it involves money and fast cars and trading. But well, nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. What even is that thing? It's weird. I don't know. Oh, open. Well, the door. Wait, what was it asking me to do? Oh, this? Um, isn't this like a, a, a dumbwaiter? Have we got to go up a dumbwaiter? Sounds like bad news. Or maybe we're just opening it. Although it's got the uh, the sign to like move forward. But I guess it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to go inside it. I suppose. Okay. That door opens. Oh, what's this? The Epic of Gilgamesh. It's a Mesopotamian story, I think. A bit of light bedtime reading. Tablet 5, The Slaying of Humbaba. My friend Humbaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill pulverize and destroy him before the preeminent god in Lil hears and the uh, gods are full of rage at us in Lil as in Nippa Shamesh Shamash is in Sipa erect an eternal monument proclaiming how Gilgamesh killed Baba they tied together a raft Enkidu steered it, while Gilgamesh held the head of Umbaba. Annotation. Read carefully, Norman. Study close what Enkidu tells Gilgamesh. He saw beyond Umbaba's pleas for clemency, recognized sparring the demon would undo our hero's righteously won victory. That only a violent demonstration would stir the watching gods. There is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory. The heavens will not open for a champion that shows restraint. So I guess we'll see this person Norman at some point. Okay, then let's try through this door. Locked, of course. What else are we going to do? Grab it. Huh. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. There you murder enter mill. the murder mill. Okay. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. 
Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated <laughs> and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. The CIA has well. got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it oh. for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Hmm. Supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention. Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Hmm. Is she so adamant about names being correct because Names have power, and she needs it for our, you know, our chosen name for ritual. We don't know these people. Don't accept drinks from people you don't know. Although, did she bring any drinks herself? A water bottle, perhaps? Hmm. Not very prepared. No, let's wait at least until we find out what's going on. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but... I just happen to have one of the most sought after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. Wait, what was that? I. I, I never knew what it was from. 
You told oh. me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. So Coop Castle wasn't, yeah, Linda Castle wasn't offered a drink. That's suspicious. So we all have these little reels so of close. film. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. One thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. have to do is betray my own sister and you'll let me go free to fight another day god damn you god damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice uh so this, is this the real that we we have that we're trying to sell or trade or whatever? We didn't know this guy. Yeah, defiant. I'd rather die. You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. It was, was terrible. Amazing. Really? What was even happening? It wasn't like too much? No way. 
because I feel like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, well, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. Yeah, we didn't I was see in the anymore. moment. I have to you be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. No, if it ruins what you're actually doing in the production. And there's no such thing Linda. as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Apparently not. I mean... She's right though, I mean, you've put the effort into that, and from what we saw, we didn't know what the hell was happening. It's like, we didn't know his arm got cut off. <laughs> so, yeah. Linda fucked up. Linda, when you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision, and this is Chris's film, so... Don't worry about it. Let's just go again, okay? You did it your way. Now we do it my way. Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. Well, if we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. guys want me to leave? All right, all right, on your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right, sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This? is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think they're like, they're gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna try and push that luck. Sheriff Green, sir, with all due respect, we almost got this thing entirely in the can, and if we don't get our last few shots here in our main location, we're gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Then you're just gonna have to scrap the whole thing. All right, then arrest us. Why don't you just what? ask for a few more minutes under arrest his supervision? Us for trespassing. 
Uh, Linda. Linda, come on. I know I'm just Robert's dad, but I'm still a cop. And you gotta start taking me seriously. Because you really, really cannot be here. Why do you care so much? I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, it's not like we're looting the place. It's not safe. Just go home. But we've only got like three more little scenes and then we're done. Well, I don't think you're going to be doing any more filming today. Not with that. Right. That's true. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not going to do what he says, right? The camera's busted, isn't it? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Wait, if you have access to a garage, all you need is some corrugated steel. You can make it look like this, couldn't you? Low-budget movie, anyway, so it's like it doesn't, doesn't need to be in that location. So. Out, sir. Now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. So, how long is this after the uh, Frank Stone situation? I didn't see a date. I guess it showed us a date, but I didn't see it. Curiosity on Main Street. Oh, 1980. Oh, okay, there we go. So why does Sam still look so young? Like, that was like 20 years ago. Dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic. I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like <laughs> our ambassador. Ugh. Yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, 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 don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? 
Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but... I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well, we could always just... Ask Frank Stone. Huh? Oh, Ouija board? Crystal ball, Ouija board. What will they say? <laughs> and Miss BB's hotline. The dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. I <laughs> called Miss BB once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley, but Miss BB thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones if it's ancient history mm, people don't really like to talk about it we do get reporters asking around sometimes really rubs people the wrong way once sam green became sheriff that all died down anyway oh because she doesn't know he was the one that killed him Sheriff Green sure seems to care a heck of a lot about this. Sam Green's the one who took Stone down. Ah. Saved a little baby that day, too. Would have been the killer's next victim. Yeah, he's kind of the town hero. Huh. Interesting. Chris, what are you thinking? You guys have been so helpful answering my questions and all, but... Sounds like I should probably go right to the source. <laughs> What? After today, I don't think Sheriff Green's gonna want to talk to you about anything even remotely related to the mill. You never know. Good luck with that. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance. Kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Was I sister? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Hmm. Didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to growl me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean, I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just... Speaking from the heart. Okay. <laughs> what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? There's also going to be this one, right? 20 bucks? If you also have 10, I guess you're not going to be able to get it fixed. So 
Or else for 20. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Yep. I need it. It's fair. This is yeah. where all our editing stuff is. Well, Doesn't matter. She's helping us. It. Yep. <laughs> all right. It's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. Like how old? How old is they all? Do they not have jobs? Wiggly. I'm fine. It's just. Uh, what is in he that looks about the same. I think it's it looks about the same age as his blood. sister. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go. Yeah, any time. <laughs> <laughs> well. Hopefully, there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. Off the beast tonic. Sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Oh, it looks condemned. Do what is that? Curiosity it? shops even repair cameras. There was a place like that near my grandfather's what the house. Hell is a the owner used to tinker shop. with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk too. Your call, Chris. Like I was surprised when they said they'll go to a. I'll go to a drugstore to fix a camera. I was like, oh, how? Oh, I get to choose? But I want to go to both. Oh, I want to get some after afterpiece tonic. Okay, we'll go to the curiosity shop. Fine. Why not? I certainly am curious. Regarding said shop, eh? Jesus yes, Christ, I save us. It. Lead the way. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and... Turns them into antiques. Plan to be a short trip. Check out the wares. Oh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. We got to look inside. I thought you were getting uh, the camera fixed rather than bad. buying some. So much for that. Oh, it's closed. Still at the drugstore before it closes. And what is okay. it you're looking for? Camera Hello? repairs. Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Oh, I thought we were fixing you it. Are. Please. Come on inside. We're gonna buy a brand new camera. Why was she outside the store? It's half five. Let me see. I think I have something. Thing that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. That's true. Let's have a look. Make ourselves See if there's any treasures. Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> We haven't found any more. Yes, it. Oh, oh, oh. 
Because the examines for that. Oh. Oh, cute bunny. I hear the humming. Oh, you should wear it, Linda. The, the humming was very faint. I don't know if you'd pick it up. Maybe I'll amplify the sound if I remember to. Whoever Dear owned Mr. this place before had oh. some lousy luck. Dear Mr. Olson, this letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned Nuddy's Ned Nax. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed, and you should receive payment by month's end. My clients also wanted to extend their sympathies to your client, uh, well, to you even, um, sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any lesson to be drawn from this, is that fire, theft, and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance from the bereavement. After all, time is a great healer. And perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat. Respectfully, R. Straker. Now why would this just be laying around? Let's say, hypothetically, she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. Bunch of floppy disks. Hmm, wonder if we'd find abuse in there. Ear defenders? Surely there's something that can help us amongst all this junk. Why are the chairs like hung up like that? Scratch marks. The Wraith's weapon. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Smiley face? Who would want to watch this creep fest? Well, what are we seeing?
Like it just looks like a hallway. It's like there's a path that way maybe. I don't know what this is. Hmm, I don't know. Is this something highlighted back there? Oh, an old fuel pump. It is. Oh, film reel. What happened? Something happened on the video? That's annoying. I've always got to do something with the film reel, but apparently it's going to be on the TV. I guess I can't get it to trigger again. Oh. Dude, it's the trapper. Imagine cuddling up to that at night. Cute. Chill out, trapper. Yeah, I guess I had one chance to see that. Radios, I think. Yeah, and that's not doing anything now. What it would have shown. So I'm going through that way. Hey. Isn't that the statue from that from the house? I wonder then if that video is showing the house where everybody is right now. Maybe that's what we would have seen. And maybe Madison walking down there. Or Augustine uh, Lieb uh, Lieber. Locked from the other side. Oh, I guess that's what I was going to say. They didn't show up as just locked? Okay. Is that a mask up there? It is, but not one I recognise. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay then.
Oh, we have to talk here. Okay. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw, and you're like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you... Oh, it says five bucks. <laughs> oh, one dollar? Yeah, right. Twenty bucks. Idiot! <laughs> well, she's, like, the way she was talking sounds like she was trying to haggle in the first place, so we're going to continue with that. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Is it old? Do we actually know that? <laughs> it is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. One of a kind. Handmade. It's for luck. What is it? Is that a scrying mirror? I guess we could use it as a prop. Sure. It's a deal. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Pocket mirror. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. But if you're questioning about the yep. price, That's us. wouldn't you have, wouldn't you have gone to the drugstore to see if they had a bad deal first, and then come back? You gonna leave your old camera? Did we take this? I guess we took the film out. Why hey, did they want guys, the old oh, one? Oh, I'm such a moron! I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to hold this? Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock cord? Oh, we are getting to go in here after all, but just as Chris. So we keep finding, we keep finding this, but we don't find the things that go inside it. So I don't know if I'm missing them or what. Best left movies? buried. Really? Must be a slow news day. Best left buried the dark mythology of the lost movie by Joe Blue. There are movie oh no. There are those films that have been lost over time which in their absence have developed an aura of mystery. These lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike. Not because they wish to marvel with the performances of the actors or craft of the director, but because they believe through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into a darker reality realized only by the camera. Most associated with the production have distanced themselves from the rumors around Dean's disappearance, the most persistent of which is that in the surviving footage of any scene involving Dean, one never fails to observe a strange rolling fog in the desert background. Perhaps there really was something lurking in the desert, waiting for its moment to come forth and claim the film's star for its own twisted machinations. Lost Movie Magazine 
fear trap. Four into the fear trap. Horror's hottest sensation. High score. Andy Dean, caged lips. It's behind you. One sip and you'll be hooked. Half the piece tonic. Looks refreshing. Bomb burgers. Sound of something. Hand grenade. Fiery hot sliders. Depth charges. Dynamite dog. Dirty bombs. Napalm bombs. Barrel bomb. The bomb. The short fuse. Time bomb. And neutron bomb. Okay. C06 white. Brown. scheduled this year. Wow. Our movie is going to be the last record of the mill. Wait, what are you talking about? This? See this renewal enters a new phase. Move fast to secure your place today. Lightbringer Estates have announced the next stage in the transformation of Cedar Hills. With new homes planned on the land around the site of the former Cedar Steel Mill. Exploratory visits to the old Ste uh, Cedar Steel steel site by Lightbringer's expert teams of engineers and architects have already commenced ahead of the demolition scheduled for later this year and construction beginning early 81 okay so it's Rao Heart 8789 what is that about a row maybe row one Are those drink bottles down there? Grab your shades. Did the other place have one? Did I not? Did I miss Plunderer's Instinct? Hmm. So, waterlogged shoe. Four names, four trials. She tells me not to rush. So, there's milk. Drink afterpiece tonic. There it is. Maybe we should grab some afterpiece too. Fear trap? Okay. Oh, Space Invaders. Moving the camera around. Whoops. I'm missing the UFO. So bad, I always miss the UFO. Are you supposed to be going downwards? I guess you are. Oh. Ah! No, because way too quick. Oh, 
Wow, I died. Oh, I got it! I'm totally on purpose. Yeah, I got it. So we keep going until I die, I guess. I wish the camera would just stay centered instead of being attached to the mouse. Oh, nice. I was expecting a UFO job. Sometimes it allows me to shoot real quickly, and other times it takes forever to fire a secondary shot. Oh, if I just hold it actually, rather than tap it. Our shields are pretty much destroyed now. Oh, I just walked into that one.
Yes. He does time A's high score. Yay! We have high score. Might as well walk into that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Yeah. Chris is top. We didn't look around the middle shell then. Ah, there's this one here. I could so find a place for these in Murder Mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. How Bruto firecrackers pull them, they go bang. Oh, I wonder if we got, could have got a cheaper camera from here then. I would have had some change to buy firecrackers. Another missing kid. I hope they're found. Benny Baker, missing 24.480. From Garfield. Hair brown. Eyes brown. Height 4.6. Weight 65 pounds. If you can identify this missing youth, please call City Hills Sheriff's Department. Missing persons 364 That's a weird, like, yeah, that's a weird concept. Like, I, like, we don't have that here. We don't put missing people on products. Well, that's a giant bottle. Oh, they're giant bottles of Pepsi, I guess. They're not called Pepsi, but they got very Pepsi looking logos. And you got a public phone in here. I don't know if we ever had public phones in in shops. I think you you always had them in like telephone booths. Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it but does my dad know you're going into the mill 
He watches oh, that place like a hole. okay. Uh, yeah, we had a little run in with him today, but we're gonna sneak uh, back in. He's behind us. <sighs> Man, should have said that. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a um a. We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Chris. Why are all these interactions so I'm awkward? I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Yeah, what happened? Oh, I do. But you gotta tell me one thing. Is it true? What? Really happened at the mill? What? You know, the real story. Oh, right. <laughs> the real story. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all true. But there is one part they never tell you about. Yeah? Nah, I, I couldn't. Come on! All right. But you've got a promise to keep it to yourself, all right? Scout's honor. They called it the steel mill. But it turns out, you can't steal the mill. <laughs> all right, you got me. This is what I do. You ready? Take care. Yeah, I think they have hey, aged him up a bit, actually. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Really? Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> Seems like a real I bad idea. Asks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. A new chance. Oh. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? <laughs> 